Hello there, this is Peter Beckenham, the Village Marketer. As always, talking to you from my little Thai village way up near the Cambodian border. And today I want to talk to you about turning chats into profits. And the bottom line is this, a lot of people actually uh, spend a lot of time on social media doing messaging, but really getting nowhere. And at the end of the day, and I thought I'd just share a couple of things that work for me, and you may be able to take them and run with them, and turn some of these chats you're having, and the time that you're spending on these chats, right, turn them into profit. But the trick is, and this is the big issue, the trick is, how do you go from the small talk when you're building rapport and getting to know them and sharing and looking for commonalities, right? How do you go from that stage to a stage when you're talking to them about them and their business that may bring up some sort of business opportunity for you. How do you make that jump? What's that transition? Because if you take too quick, you're too pushy. If you leave it too long, you're going to miss the opportunity. All right? I'm suggesting that the purpose of this chat, the, the chat you have with them, and let's assume you've at least said hello before, right? You've got some sort of commonality between you. And the purpose of this chat has got absolutely nothing to do with the sale, right? It's got everything to do with a sales conversation, not a sales call, all right? What your objective is, is to take this cold prospect and turn them into a high value qualified prospect, right? I didn't say sale. A high value qualified prospect. If you keep that as your mindset and not the sale, then you will be able to follow through what I'm about to give you because all of a sudden you're freed up from the need to sell something and you're there to simply help them. So the first thing you do when you're talking with people in your chat, okay, you'd say, would you mind, I prepared a small agenda for us. And on that agenda, it's got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with your company. It's got nothing to do with your products or the service you sell. They don't appear anywhere. Your agenda is very simple. It talks about where they are now, where they want to get to, and how do they work out solving that gap between where they are now and where they want to get to. That's what you want to spend time with them on that chat, trying to clarify. That's what your purpose is, and they can see that. And if they see that, they will relax a little bit more, okay? And if they relax a little bit more, they're more than likely to open up to you because all of a sudden this fear of, oh, when's the pitch coming, right? Well, the pitch is not coming. You've just given them your agenda and they don't, it doesn't appear on your agenda. Now, I'm not saying you can't sell on your first appointment, but what I'm saying is don't try it. I'll give you one caveat there. If people seek you out for help and advice, then it's highly likely you could get a sale on your first appointment with them. But that's not the normal objective, right? The normal objective is to identify a really good prospect for the next time you're talking to them. So one, prepare an agenda and share it with them and put their, put their thoughts to bed about, oh, when's the sale coming? Right? It's very important you do this. When you do this, people truly can relate to you and start to learn to trust you, and that's critical in terms of getting some honest answers from them. Secondly, in terms of honest answers, ask strategic questions. Now, I'm not going to give you all the scripts for it, okay? If you want that, come and talk to me later, right? But what I'm saying is conceptually, ask strategic questions. Talk about what's working for them right now, and, and what's the biggest challenge they've got right now. And why is this a case? Why is it a problem for them right now? Well, why is it working for them right now? And, and if they're not sure why you're asking those questions, you simply say, look, I'm sharing those questions with you because to be quite honest, when I first started online, one of the biggest problems I had was getting leads. And I'm wondering whether that's the same problem for you. Okay? In other words, let them know that you're human. Let them know that you're imperfect. Let them know you struggle too. And by doing that, again, you're building rapport, but you're opening them up and giving them the chance to talk to you, because that's what you want, okay? One thing you need to do is record what they're saying to you. Very important you record their words. Not your interpretation of their words, but their words, because their words mean everything to them, okay? And then you then 
feedback to them. This is the next step. When you try to establish the gap, in other words, you now know where they are, right, and what they don't like about where they are and how they feel about where they are because you've asked those sorts of questions and you also know what their desired destination is and how they feel about that and why it's so important to them, okay? So then you've got two ends of the spectrum. Like, where's my hands? Two ends of the spectrum, right? And what you've got to do is help them close the gap. And that's what was in your agenda, right? So at this point here, you are delivering exactly what you promised on your agenda. And that is also building the know, like, and trust and rapport factors, because you are delivering exactly what you said you would deliver. The next thing is opening the door opening the door. And what do I mean by that? Well, for example, you could simply say something like this. Mary, look, I didn't know where this conversation was going to go today, to be quite frank with you. I really didn't know. But we had crossed paths quite a few times on Facebook or on LinkedIn, wherever you are. Okay? We have crossed paths a few times, and I thought it would be really valuable to get to know each other and share some ideas. But now I'm thinking, you really started to make me think because you mention and you talk about their pain point and you quote their words. That's why you wrote them down, okay? You're making me think about your pain point, which was X, Y, and Z, and also their desired their destination, which was A, B, and C. And this started to make me think, Mary, I've got some suggestions. Would you like me to share them with you? Perhaps it could be of some interest to you. You're asking permission. You're not selling, you're asking permission to share a suggestion, not make a solution. Very important, not give a presentation, not sell a solution, to share some suggestions. Very important meaning in terms of the prospect, because all of a sudden there's no pressure in there. And nine times out of 10, I probably think, heck, why not? Yes, and we so far is she or he's been pretty good. So then you share with them conceptually, not product. You don't talk product. You don't talk business opportunity. You talk about conceptually how they would go about solving that particular gap. And you talk about things such as, in general terms, such as you need to be prepared to put in time and effort and perhaps some money. And if you're not prepared to put those three things in, then Mary, you probably can't bridge that gap. But if that gap is so important to you, especially your desired destination, and once again you repeat back to them, I mean, let me get this right, you told me your desired destination is A, B, C, right? If that's so important to you, then would you be prepared to invest time, effort and money to get what you want, to put a bridge over that gap that you talked to me about? Would that be, would that be important to you, uh, important enough to you to actually take the next step and sit and wait. You've asked a very important question because they then have to make a decision about whether they have actually bought the value you have given to them. You have identified where they are now, you've identified their desired destination and you've identified very clearly what their gap is and you've talked to them conceptually about how they can solve the gap but you haven't given them the solution on purpose it's not on the agenda because your objective is to get a red hot prospect wanting you to come back to them as quickly as possible to solve their problem to close their gap all right and by doing it this way you're not pushing too much sure you might want to get the sale but if you try and split it up this way you'll have a much better conversion rate i can tell you all right so the next steps you have it could be perhaps a formal presentation when you do bring your offer forward. Perhaps it be, would be a face-to-face -face discussion with them. Perhaps it would be on Skype or on Zoom, okay, rather than doing all the typing. In fact, you ought to do that. Don't try and sell on a typing thing, right? Or perhaps it's an invitation to a webinar. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter, okay? The bottom line is you have got this person and you've confirmed with them that you're going to follow up with them and they are red hot to trot because you haven't upset them in any way but you've given fantastic value to them and you've got them to a point when they would they were probably saying to you, can you do it now? Can you solve the problem now? Well, of course you can. Of course you can. But they call that. You didn't call that, right? Big difference, right? 